Hey guys, how are you doing? And in this episode, we are going to see how to fix Safari browser not loading web pages or not working properly when you try to view any website or try to download any specific file from a website and the download is happening super slow for some time. I'll be suggesting few troubleshooting steps. So do try them one by one for some people. The second step may be working for some people. The fourth step may be working. Whether it is mobile data or Wi-Fi, it does doesn't matter. It is important to switch network as the first troubleshooting step and check whether the problem is network related or not. If you have trouble viewing specific websites on your Wi-Fi connection, then try to switch it to mobile data and see whether the same response is what you see on the Safari browser in your iPhone or iPad. So here you can see I'm, I have opened fast.com to check my browsing speed, not the file download speed, but just the browsing speed and to make sure that both the download and upload is matching with what my ISP actually promises. For mobile data, it always fluctuates based on the area you are in, based on the network congestion and how much tower points, signal receptions you are getting. But with Wi-Fi, most of the time we get the speed as our ISP promises. And here you can see the ping value and the download and upload speed overall while checking with fast.com. For some people, when they open youtube.com or twitter.com, you know, uh, they may face slow pay page loading problem for a specific time. It could be, you know, sometimes the website related problem. Otherwise, the second troubleshooting step that you have to do is remove any entries from your Wi-Fi settings. Navigate to settings Wi-Fi, tap on the eye icon and then scroll to the bottom of the Wi-Fi network that you have connected and tap on configure DNS under the DNS section. And if it is set to automatic, then it is absolutely fine. If you want to try any DNS servers, then the one I normally recommend is Google DNS servers. It is of course optional, but you may check and see whether it is helping to fix the problem of certain Google services or Google websites loading faster or in general any websites to load faster and bit better. So here I have changed the Google uh, the DNS to Google uh, DNS or you may use Cloudflare DNS also. You can get the both primary and secondary DNS IP addresses from Google search. We can change the Google DNS servers or any DNS servers only for Wi-Fi connection, not for mobile data. The next important troubleshooting step that you have to do is navigate to settings, then Safari and scroll to the bottom and see clear history and website data. If any Safari settings or any temporary cache data that we have already have in our Safari browser is affecting the website performance or the page load speed, then it is important to perform it as a basic troubleshooting step. Clear the history and website data and remember to you know take the copy of currently opened website links in your Safari browser. If you have a bookmark, then it is absolutely not affected. If you have iCloud sync, it is safe. But if you have any pages opened, you know, left opened in the Safari app, it is important to move them to the notes by copy pasting it and then you can perform the clear history and website data just in case if anything goes wrong you know all your recently opened tabs goes deleted to prevent that it is important to do that the la last important troubleshooting step is performing net network settings reset navigate to settings general and then you can see the reset option at the bottom then tap on reset network settings this will clear out any network settings for both mobile data and the wi-fi so whether you have problem with Wi-Fi connection or uh, with the mobile data, it doesn't matter. This will flush everything. And then you have to try opening the website that you have problem with in your Safari browser, either in iPhone or iPad. And for some people, the last troubleshooting step actually worked when they had similar issue of Twitter and YouTube websites are not opening. You know, the important thing that you need to understand is apart from our side, you know, uh, like the iPhone, the Safari browser, the internet connection, there are possibilities that the website that we try to view also have some server load issues or any applications could go crash and you know may result in poor page loading or when we try to download a file, a movie, a music or something from a specific website, it must have worked the last time you checked but today it could be facing some traffic congestion issues or traffic bandwidth related issues. If you have tried all these troubleshooting steps and still you have problem with specific website viewing or downloading a file, then it is advisable to wait for some time to get such problems fixed. I hope this video helped you to figure out why the Safari is not loading web pages or letting you to download files faster. 
and if you have any questions related to iphone don't forget to search our channel with one word to find the answers faster and for more useful iphone tips and tricks don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you and have a wonderful day